In SQL Server, whenever I want to do some logical task along with some multiple SQL statements, we can actually create these stored procedures. But if I want to call that stored procedure through our ADO.NET programming, we can do that as well. And in our this video, we are actually going to do the same thing where we'll be calling some normal or parameterized stored procedure from our ADO.NET code. So let's see these things practically. So to, in order to call the stored procedure from the ADO.NET code, first of all, I will have to create the stored procedure. And here, as in SQL Server, in my DB database, you can see I have created a stored procedure named add department, sp underscore add department. So what is here inside? Let's see that. So here I'll just script it as create to in a new editor. And inside this, let me increase the size, let me zoom the window, all right. So what you can see is create procedure, procedure name. And here I have passed three parameters, int ID, name and location, as these are the three uh, fields which are there in the uh, table, all right. So now inside the definition, what I have done, I have just passed a very simple insert statement, insert into table departments values. So by the time you will be invoking this procedure, whatever value you will pass, I will just insert those value inside the table. Now, what my motive is, is to call this sp underscore add department from the uh, ad.int code from the front end. So here, what I have done is, is the implementation, like it's the very same form. I just removed the remaining buttons and I'll just go for the save. Uh, even add new is going to behave same, all right? So now let's see what I have done in the save button code. So uh, a couple of changes are required here. First thing is here the parameters, nay, I don't need to uh, specify the query and I don't need to specify the parameters along with the procedure name as by the time I created the procedure, I already specified. So what I'll do, I'll just pass the same names here in order to create our command so that it will be mapped very properly. So in the definition in SQL Server, uh, what I have done, I have used the ID, name and LOC ID and with the same names I have taken here along with the specific data type. And before doing that, what I have done, I have just said the command type is command type dot stored procedure. By default, when you say it's the text, all right, means, means whenever you will pass something in SQL command, by default, it is treated as the text means an SQL command, but now I'm going to specify like whatever I have written here in this string is not a statement, is not a SQL command, but it is the name of the stored procedure. And to tell that, I have used this enum command type. Now, as I said earlier, I have used three arguments in that. So all the three arguments, all the three parameters have been specified here in the cmd.parameters.add along with the specific data types. And later, I have just specified the values which I have already taken in these variables and I assigned them in these specific parameters. And later, I just execute it as the normal commands. So this is how you can start calling the parameterized stored procedure. And if there is a stored procedure who doesn't have any arguments, it is even easier as you don't have to do all these things. You can directly invoke the procedure like in the same way. So this is how you can start working with the stored procedure and before ending, let's execute it. So we can check like whether it's working fine or not. So it's new department, let's name it something like uh, sales. And here let's put something like Manchester, all right. This is save and let's come here in the database. Let's refresh this and here you can see it's there. So this is how you can start working with the stored procedure at the runtime using ADO.NET code.